Have you ever wondered when you are trying to lose fat or build muscle does these questions come to your mind like how do i start or what's the first step that i need to take Hello everyone welcome to another video if you are new to the channel this channel is about all the information from basic to advanced level about health and fitness i also recommend you to go and watch my previous videos so you will not be missing out on the fundamental information that you we have already covered also hit the subscribe button below to stay updated on all the important information that we are going to cover in this channel in this video we are going to discuss about the first step that you need to be doing or taking into account when you first start your journey of losing fat or building muscle that step is going to be about having the knowledge on how your body uses the energy that you consume and also calculating how much energy that you need to maintain your current physical health or to lose some fat or build muscle let's discuss about why you should start calculating how many calories your body needs as per your goals and also maybe try tracking your calories on how much you consume per day this is sensitive topic for some people because they are against calorie counting or they just simply don't want to do it and i understand them eating your food by measuring or reading the nutrition labels and being aware of how many calories it contains and also logging your meals every time you eat may not be acceptable or seem reasonable to everyone but the long term goal about doing this activity is different tracking and logging your food with their calories over a period of time makes you be aware of the foods that you consume and their calories that you're getting and also makes you to be in better tune with your body eventually down the process over a period of time you'll get to know how much food do you need to maintain your current weight or lose fat or build muscle also practicing tracking and logging of your calories makes you be accountable for the food that you eat and also provides the best chance for you at losing weight or gaining muscle let's take an example to understand this bit for example you have your salary so based on your spending habits you can go either broke or you stay comfortable with your living or you can save some and maybe grow your wealth when you get your salary apart from paying for your basic needs if you spend more of it than you can afford you will end up being broke or else if you spend all of your salary and you don't have anything to save or invest you will maintain your uh, maybe your current financial status and then you just live from paycheck to paycheck in the third case you will spend for your basic necessities and you save some and you invest you will be building your wealth and maybe you can be financially in a good shape over a period of time this can seem simple because you know how the money works fundamentally so the same concept can be taken into consideration regarding health and food as well so the salary here is kind of similar to the calories that your body needs apply with food as well so for example you have calculated a number of calories that your body needs to maintain its current weight so you consume less than that calories in order to lose fat or you consume the same amount of calories on average to maintain the current weight or you increase your calorie intake to gain weight so by doing this you will know how many calories your body needs based on your goals and you try to experiment with them and you learn along the way and you also be more aware or get more knowledge on your body and how it responds to the food you eat you are consuming calories in a day so let's see on how your body uses those calories your body uses the calories that you intake in two ways so there's the resting energy expenditure and the non resting energy expenditure let's discuss about resting energy expenditure as the name suggests this is the number of calories that your body uses during the rest state or for its daily body functions this can also be referred as the basal metabolic rate or bmr the energy expenditure in this state can be related to your basic metabolism and your basic body functions by providing energy to kidneys brain heart lungs and your central nervous system so roughly this accounts for 60 to 70% of calories 
that you intake are going to be used for this kinds of activities so the next we have non-resting energy expenditure so the calories used here are mainly to take care of your digestion and physical activity so let's talk about calories used for digestion so when you eat food you need energy to digest the food as well so this is known as thermic effect of food so this tef refers to the calories burned when you digest your food so for example proteins like eggs chicken etc require more energy to get digested than fat which require less energy to get digested so the calories burnt or the energy spent during this tef or during the digestion accounts for around roughly 10 percent of your daily required calorie intake. So the next section we have under non-resting energy expenditure is the physical activity. So this physical activity can be divided into two groups as well. The basic physical activity, which you need to do every day, like brushing your teeth, maybe eating and walking around, doing normal body operations like standing, sitting on these tasks. So this can also be termed as non-exercise activity thermogenesis or NEAT. And the other group, are the physical activities or exercises that you do in addition whether it can be jogging running or lifting weights which can also be termed as exercise activity thermogenesis or eat so the calories used for these categories varies from person to person and also from day to day depending on their level of physical activity so the non-exercise physical activity kind of uses around 15 percent of your daily calorie intake and on the other hand the exercise activity like working out or running or jogging uses about five percent from your total calorie intake in a day if you take into account all these things that we have discussed so far and the energy spent doing these activities is known as your total daily energy expenditure or TDEE. -E. Having an excellent metabolism and prioritizing healthy foods and protein and focusing on your daily activities and daily body functions accounts for around 80 to 90 percent of energy used from the calories that your body requires for a day. The physical activity kind of contributes only a five percent but in order to improve your metabolism you need to have certain physical activity and also focus on healthy nutrition. I hope this video was helpful. You were able to learn about TDEE. If you find this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button so it reaches to more people so that they can be beneficial from the content. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on the upcoming videos related to health and fitness. If you are also looking for information on workouts that you can do in gym or home, Check out my Instagram profile by clicking on the link that I've pasted in the description. Go through the different type of workouts that I have already posted over there. Few of the home workouts, different muscle groups you can exercise and there are also tips for you to learn and improve on your form while doing them. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.